Good morning. It's great to be here today. I'm going to do a special song. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and narrow pining till he appeared and the soul failed its worth. The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. And folks do a wonderful song uh, job with a whole holy night. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, we welcome you here today. For any guests that we have, we are so thankful that you came today to be with us. For all of the home folks, we thank you for celebrating again with us here at Smyrna, the birth of Jesus Christ. Some folks are missing from their spots today. 
spots in the congregation, folks that uh, would normally be here, that were faithfully here all the time. Throughout this year, we here at Smyrna have celebrated lives throughout this year. Uh, of course, there's a spot missing uh, in the choir that Jimmy would normally have filled. Uh, Jimmy and Dot made Christmas a special time here at Smyrna. They always made sure that the children and the youth had programs prepared to celebrate, to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Jimmy, of course, as we got too old to be called youth anymore, started preparing uh, Christmas music, Christmas cantatas. Sometimes he would put them together himself. Sometimes he would purchase a cantata for us to sing. But he always made sure that we had Christmas music to share with all of you. This year, we just weren't able to get a cantata together. We, we'll have one next year. We'll have one next year. But we have worked on arranging some Christmas songs, much like he has done in the past, to celebrate the joy, the hope, the peace, and the love that Advent represents. All of these folks that are up here behind me, those that are over there waiting to come in, our desire is that we continue to show and to share Jesus in the music of Christmas. We'd ask you to pray for us this morning as we sing and as we remember. We'd ask you to pray for all those families that might be missing a loved one this year as they celebrate Christmas here in our community. Please enjoy with us the songs of Christmas. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria and all went out to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. There are some distinctive things about Jesus that cannot be said about any other person. Beginning with the prophecies that were written concerning his birth, Isaiah spoke of a virgin girl that would give birth to a son. The prophet Daniel wrote of the precise time in history when the anointed one would come. The psalmist foretold that kings from the east would visit him, bearing gifts. Over 700 years, 700 years before Jesus was born, the prophet Micah told of the specific location, the exact spot where all of this would happen. He revealed that Bethlehem was the place where a ruler would be born and that this ruler had origins from long ago, from the days of eternity. So many prophecies and every one of them down to the smallest detail were all fulfilled to this one born in Bethlehem. There had never been, nor would there ever be, a baby like him.
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there were with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them to heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem, and see these things which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which they were told by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Isaiah 9, 2, 6, and 7 says, 
The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They, they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of the hosts will perform this. had talked about it. The story had been told in the temple for generations. 
Messiah had become such an oft-spoken promise. But now, on a strangely starry night, Bethlehem must have surely been surprised by the fulfillment of this promise. Imagine the king of glory slipping into this world through the back door of a dirty, smelly stable. The word Messiah had such a lofty ring to it, and yet here he was, God, our long-awaited counselor, our day star, and our lion of the tribe of Judah. Down through the ages, he's been called the King of the Jews, Lamb of God, and Prince of Peace. So many names apply to our Savior, but for those of us who have come to trust our lives to him, there is one name that falls from our lips more than any other. on Christmas Day Their old familiar carols play Mild and sweet their songs repeat Of peace on earth, goodwill to men And the bells they're ringing
God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. In Bethlehem in Judah this blessed babe was born and laid within a manger upon this blessed morn to which his mother
we look forward to singing for you the first Noel here. And so I thought to myself, I, I need to find out what Noel means. I, you know, we've sang about it for all of my life now about Noel. And, uh, well, it means Christmas. And it talks about the first Christmas and, and how the, uh, Randy has already read to us the, about the shepherds being out in the fields, watching their flocks by night, and the wise men too that came. And the son, the song talks all about uh, those uh, those words there uh, that we have. But what did it take that night to get all that started? Well, Randy read about the heavenly host. Wesley just sang about Jesus has come to us, and so uh, that's many many years ago that Jesus came to us. And so I, I'll ask you today. Um, uh, do we need to be a heavenly host? Where are we at? Are we the shepherds maybe that need that heavenly host that say to us that Jesus is here and this is his birthday and we need to celebrate that. Not only what he did here, but also what he did on Calvary for us to save us from our sins. So uh, you may be a lowly shepherd. You may be a great king that's out there in the world, but I want to be an angel that uh, proclaims the good news. And uh, uh, tells them not to be afraid, or Jesus brings happiness to us in times of trouble, in times of need, that we need to make sure that we're listening to Him. So choose today which one that you'd like to do. And the last verse here that we'll sing about is, uh, Then let us all, with one accord, sing praises to our Heavenly Lord. So, uh, you know, today, make sure that you're doing that. Start today. Make this maybe your first Christmas, or maybe your first Noel. The first Noel the angels did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay.
They came from near, they came from far, following a distant star to where he lay. Not being sure what it meant, but knowing it was heaven sent, they made their way. And the creatures gathered round and didn't make a sound. And the angels This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to publicly expose her to disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and he took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We're given the opportunity, just like Mary and Joseph, to say yes to God's will for our life and for the life of the world. We've heard the stories of Jesus reminded us of those stories. The choirs reminded us of those stories today through all these Christmas carols and songs. And we're challenged with the idea that He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords who left the throne of heaven to come down to earth and live among us in order to teach us the ways of God, to save us from our sins, and to give us life everlasting. And so we're given the opportunity 
to say yes to the God who's already said yes to us through His Son, Jesus Christ. We're given the opportunity to embrace His love even as He's already loved us. Uh, we're given the opportunity to receive the gift of salvation. Uh, we, we're rescued from sin and death by Jesus if we just say, I accept, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. And so I invite you this Christmas once again to open your heart to seek Him like the wise man sought Him, the wise people sought Him in the days of old, to seek Him the way the shepherds sought Him after the angels appeared to them, uh, to, to say yes to Him the way Mary and Joseph said yes to Him coming into their home and living among them and eventually becoming for them the Lord and Savior He also is for us. So I invite you this Christmas to say yes to Jesus. Christmas to you all. Go forth in the love and peace of Christ our Lord.